In this video, I'm gonna show you the complete process to generate your desired material effect and then apply it to any logo you want to. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, I'm gonna go into the Google and search for some logo. You can use any logo, but I'm gonna use Nike logo for this tutorial. Click on the images and let's check this one. I'm gonna open it in a new tab. And this is a PNG logo. Next, you have to open the Photoshop and create a new file of square size. It should have equal width and equal height. Next, I'm gonna copy this image and paste it here by pressing the Ctrl plus V keys. I'll convert it into a smart object, scale it down and place it right in the middle of the file. I'll increase the size a little bit and that's it. Now this is very important for you to have a square size file with a white background and a black logo on it. After that click on file, go to the export and export as. Increase the export quality and click on export. Select your location where you want to save it and press save. Next, I'm gonna go to the Adobe Firefly website and click on text to image. Now, we need to generate a material that we can apply to our logo. So you can type any prompt that you want, but I'm just gonna say blue and gold marble. Click on generate and you can see the generated results. Now, on the left sidebar, we have a tab for composition. What I'm gonna do is click here and upload our logo file as a reference image. Click on continue and increase the strength. I'm gonna keep the content type to photo. Click on generate. And there we go. And these are pretty good. And you can see that it's following our composition reference to generate the artworks. I love this one. Now if you want your logo effect on a complete white background, then I'm gonna click on the prompt and add isolated on a white background. Now as you can see, it's not giving the logo on a complete white background. And I'm gonna give you a solution for that. What you need to do is go to the Adobe Express website. Click on this plus button and select a square size ratio. From the left side, click on the text tab and add a plain text. Now you can type any text in here, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make it bold and increase the size. I'll align it in the middle. Next from the left side bar, click on generate text effects. Now you can type your required prompt in here, but keep in mind that you need to generate the same material that you want to generate in the Adobe Firefly. You also have some pre-made materials here. So I'm just gonna pick blue and gold marble from here. You can see different versions from here. I'll just remove some letters to make the text bigger. You can try generating more versions if you want. Let's try this one. It's also good, but I'm gonna go with the first one. Next, click on this download button and download your file. Alright, let's go back to the Adobe Firefly. And if I scroll down from the left sidebar, then you can see that we have a separate tab for styles. And we can also apply a reference image here. So I'm gonna click here and upload the text effect that we generated in Adobe Express. Next, you can tweak the prompt a little bit if you want. As the style reference image has a white background, so it's really gonna try to influence that in the generated artworks. Click on generate and let's see. And you can see the difference. These look pretty great. Now you can also play with the prompt and these intensity levels to change the artworks as you want. Let me actually tweak the prompt a little bit to see the difference. Now as you can see that it has added that little stroke around the whole logo that looks kinda nice. Once you have achieved your desired effect using the text prompt and reference image and other settings, then what you can do is simply create the logo file and it will apply the same effect to other logos. Let me actually show you that. Click here and let's select the Apple logo. Hit generate. And that's not what you were expecting, were you? That's why I picked this example. Now to fix this, all you got to do is remove this text from the text prompt. Click on generate. And look at that. It looks fabulous. Now let's try one more example. Let's try Tesla logo this time. Click on generate. You can try as many logos as you want and generate as many versions as you want. And that looks great. 
If this video was helpful, then please subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.